ceiling fan. Motor mouth. Pizza popcorn. You say caramel. I say caramel. You say gala. I say gala. Potato. Patata. Tomato. Tomata. Let's, Let's call, call the whole thing, thing off. off. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. One, two, three, four. Sitting on the bench. Writing's really hard. We need another snack. And that is just a fact. Oh, oh. Hi, this is Shauna. And this is Trisha. And this is Two Girls on a Bench. The podcast. We write on the bench. We snack on the bench. And most of all, we procrastinate on the, the bench. The bench. Bench. This is okay. See you later. Time today for our May Bench Right Club. What? And right uh, club. Just start this shit out right now and say thank you to Kayla, um, our our Sharpie. You guys all know who Kayla is at this point for encouraging like tossing down a gauntlet all encouraging these everybody new people yeah we have uh eight submissions six of which are brand new to us so that's exciting and they're gonna be new to all of you yeah and we haven't read them yet so we're gonna we're read gonna them just cold. read them cold and just let us all experience this live together yes Except, i mean it's not live but you know what whatever I mean. it's live it'll be for live us. for you when you hear it and also for me. And we're alive right now when while we, we read it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, awkward podcast I know. conversations. Ooh. All right. Anyway, I have a quote. So let's just do that first. Awesome. I actually really like this quote. I know I've done Stephen King before, but he said a lot of cool shit. Yeah. So Stephen King, if you do your job, your characters will come to life and start doing stuff on their own. Oh. Which is so true. It is. And we've written like plays and there are characters in scripts and there are characters we quote to each other. That yeah. Are, like alive. Like Lila. Like they, yeah. Like yeah. they were like a person or like they start, they do start to do stuff on yeah. their own. It is yeah. kind of a weird like channeling thing where you're kind of like, well, I think, and I always, this sounds like something this person would say and like, they're not real. I always <laughs> use this example. But they feel real. <laughs> Whenever we do like character studies and, it, and maybe you have some tips and you want to email us two girls on a bench at gmail.com. Tips. We like to uh, hear writing from tips. writers. Hashtag writing community. Hashtag shut up, Trisha. Okay. So, <laughs> um. I always mention this one, but it was like one of the, my most favorite exercises we ever did. And you know what I'm going to say. Zoe's closet. Yeah, Zoe's closet. <laughs> so we had a character named Zoe and we didn't talk about her closet or her clothes really at all in the screenplay we were writing. But we, Shauna came up with the exercise. I don't know where you pulled it from. And it was like, write, what, write what's in your character's closet. And we we sat for a while. It wasn't just three minutes. It was like yeah. a little bit of time and, and really explored like what her room and closet looked like. We should have done it with the male character in that because our we male character. We ended char- up doing it down the line. Did we with Vincent? Um, because hmm. Vincent, because we had like this lead male character, we couldn't and figure we, him we out. couldn't get his voice, but we had everybody else's yeah. voice, and I think it was like once we got in her closet, <laughs> yeah, it, no, like we, we, we figured knew. out how she spoke and what she. Looked I just like felt now she feels real, her but she wasn't real until we went in her closet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so just gonna keep saying, don't that. be afraid to go into their closets, go your the characters, closet, you guys. But you know, come back out though. Yeah, don't stay there though. <laughs> It's dark in there, and there's like dirty clothes. But, but that's just like the weird. Okay, Old so shoes. Um, our friends Lisa and Sam from I Shake My Head, they did a thing where they had people send them pictures of their like medicine cabinets or pictures of their snack cabinets Terrifying. or their under their bathroom. What does it look like? You know, don't don't clean it. Just take a picture of what it looks like under the bathroom cabinet, right? Oh my my bathroom cabinet. I told you I have like a problem with like toiletries yes so people had all different kinds of things i had a bunch of you know toys for my kids and stuff but you had toys under your your in the upstairs bathroom because oh okay there's like a shark and like toys and like a basket underneath there (laughs) because i put the toilet paper up high because my kids will like toilet paper their own rooms or something Uh oh anyways i don't know (laughs) Really, are they going to do that? Do you know how fun it would be to throw rolls of toilet paper down the stairs? 
Yeah, it'd be really fun. Right? I kind of want to do it right now. I know. I just thought of the that. The other day we were talking about TPing someone's house. That's right. With your husband. Yes. Like, as adults, like, we were having this right conversation. Right on my street. And then we're like, they'll probably figure it out. We're like, let's do it. <laughs> and then we're like, woo, woo. Two girls on bench get arrested for TPing someone's house my, at 45. <laughs> my point was that um, going, looking at pictures of people's, like, cabinets or where they keep their their <laughs> stuff. I'm doing that weird thing where Her I... Her microphone just fell. It was weird. I, I'm like playing with the cord with my Stop huge Stop it. Toes. We just had a big sound problem. Don't yeah, move, sorry. play with anything. So um, anyways, it's just very telling about how a person is. Like some people right. have their shit just like super together. Some people are super random and have a whole bunch of toiletries like you. Um, I like, so like you could tell I had kids because there's like junk in mine. And, yeah. You know, so... Toys. I just think it's a great character study. Like I just, I always go back to that. It's the best example of how to get in someone, get someone's voice um, right. clarified, you know, by digging through their shit. Very good. And I think Lisa and Sam are just doing it because they're nosy. But we got, we love you guys. It's hilarious so, though. I love it. Yeah. I can't do it because it's like it's so embarrassing. It, it, but there's no judgment. Yeah, but I'm judging it, <laughs> and I don't want people to know about it no. even though i talk about it but I, I don't want anyone to actually no, see, see it. all the crap that i've i don't want anyone there. to actually see my closet right now it's a fucking mess so my closet's clean weirdly because i did that like spark closet. joy thing your closet is like it's big a bedroom <laughs> i know so I, my dogs like to go in there and pee Oh, gross. I know. It's disgusting. I thought you were going to say, like, lay down or something. Well, also that. But, like, Gucci's gone in there and peed before. So I have to, like, keep it closed Ew. now. I don't know why. He's all mm, so comfortable in He's here. All, it's so nice and dark in here. I'm going to pee on my mom's floor. He's like, all, it just feels right. It's like my <laughs> bathroom. And he's I don't a know. little boy dog, so he's like lifting his leg onto your no, shoes. No, because he shit. doesn't. He kind of like okay. pees like a girl. <laughs> he kind of pees down. He did it the other day. Squats. And your son was like, amused because he doesn't see boy dogs pee no, i guess very he just, often well, he only has a girl dog yeah that's so. he, his dog he told me one day gucci um, is his dog no your dog oh sandy oh, he's all this is my dog i'm all i know logan i come here all the time funny. so anyway um yeah he was laughing because he'll like stand straight but then lift his foot up but he's like peeing down <laughs> i don't know how to explain it like on the grass <laughs> so i think that's what he did anyway everybody uh, really wanted funny. to know that Dog pee is fun. Just kidding. It's like, it's a thing, you know? <laughs> anyway, we've got a snack book. Let's oh, we do. Before we finish this uh, part two of the snack, yeah, we should, we should talk about oh, it. Oh, we have two. Yeah, it's a two-part snack because the first snack. Okay, well, we'll just get to it. Let's just go to snack book. All right, go. Give me that snack book. This snack book was like gonna be really exciting you were so excited about it well so i met you walked in today and you were like we get to have the popcorn i know so jada de laurentis of food network fame we talked about a lot last week yeah i know and then it was weird that i found this so then i'm like walking through marshall's once again everybody <laughs> marshall's come on now and so come like at, you us. know as i'm like leaving you know getting checked out i see this bag of popcorn and it's got jada de laurentis on it and it's called Simply Seven. Maybe that's like the line of popcorns or something. I don't know. But and this it's is a, like her flavor. It's a margarita pizza popcorn. No, I'm wondering if that's like her line of because there's other ones. I saw them at Gelson's. So I think they sell them at like a oh. nice store like Gelson's. But then this flavor was maybe like not popular. And that's why it's at Marshall's because when we yeah. taste it. So it's margarita pizza popcorn. Were there other flavors by her? At yeah, if there was like sea salt, you know, there was like oh. rig and like olive oil or whatever. Someone which was... needs to tell her she didn't think of sea salt popcorn. No, but it's just, just like kidding. her brand, you know, it's like sea salt and olive oil it. or something. I got but it. it's like hers. But it's it's she made with it. blue and red butterfly popcorn, which is why it's kind of like small. It is smaller, and it's not like stale. That. So I'll give her that. Like yeah. the popcorn is good, but the flavoring yeah, sometimes it's stale. Not good. The flavor's weird. It's like. It very much tastes like margarita spaghetti sauce. cheese blend, but then it has a weird sweet flavor to it, right? It's like it's like too sweet of 
a sauce. I'm like, I yeah, yeah. No, it, but you have like, like a marinara sauce and it's like, it's like really, really sweet. And you're just like, sometimes uh, people do like sugar like in Like a it. sweeter version. There is sugar in spaghetti sauce. But I've like, never had any of her food and I've made a lot of her recipes that taste not good like this. Mm-mm. It tastes not good like this. Like, Jada, you're going to have to go back to the drawing board on this one. Something's and wrong I'm with a the huge flavor. supporter of all the things that you're putting out there, but except not this one. Here's the problem. Mozzarella doesn't have a strong cheesy f- taste. No, it's a very it doesn't. plain. It's like a palate cleanser with the basil and the yeah, tomato it's, sauce. See, it's just like it's the texture. It's, it's very like melted. Yes, creamy. So yeah, this is not working. You don't me. really get the basil or any sort of um, Italian just spices. The weird sweetness. It's almost like you want to mix in like oregano and basil and like. Oh my god, their popcorn is raised in nutrient-rich soil, which give this blue and red corn its natural color, sweetness, and wholesomeness. Wow. Margarita pizza is a classic combination of fresh tomatoes, mozzarella, and herbs for an authentic Italian flavor. So maybe the popcorn's already sweet. A little bit. Oh, but then this is kind of sweet. Fund Her Farm. Simply Seven and Ch- Chef Jada are creating awareness and inspiring females in agriculture. That's See cool. how we're helping women grow at fundherfarm.com. Oh, check That's that out, badass. guys. That's actually super cool. Yeah. Damn it, guys, though. It's not good. Yeah. <laughs> no. I wanted, I'd be curious to try a different flavor by I her and see to if love it's it. better. I'm going to go get one of the other ones and we'll try that next Cause time. Because it looks like it's going to be good. Like that totally looks up our alley. Yeah. And I look at the pic. We like cheese popcorn. Yeah. You know, we like stale cheese popcorn. Well, like we're not even picky. Look, I just ate <laughs> all the leftover oh, cheese yeah. balls <laughs> and they were stale. Yeah, it was and like, I oh, there's anyway. cheese balls in the snack cabinet. Because after we ate some of the margarita piece of popcorn, we're like, oh, get it out of my mouth. And then I was like, we although I kept eating it for a while, palate cleansed with the cheese balls, but they were completely stale. Like that lid does not seal. And by the way, I just ate them all. Yes, anyway. you did. Yeah. But, well, I ate a whole can of them on Mother's Day, yeah. but it was a fresh can. You deserve it. And so we were talking about how it's kind of a small can. It is. So you really should just eat. You guys eat it in one sitting because otherwise it gets stale because you can't have it later. You can't have it later. So if you can't eat it by yourself. Share it with a couple other people, but do it like right, right away. away or put it in a Ziploc maybe and not leave it in the planter's can. Yeah, it's just it's it's, it's you know, it's that vintage solid thing. Lid. Guess well, what? I'm going to wash that can not- and I'm going to put like paintbrushes in it or some shit. Or oh. pencils. Because it's cute. Why? You don't need another one of those. I need another pencil holder. <laughs> As I look on, on our desk that we're sitting at right now, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's like five, a glass jar six, one. Seven, there's like seven containers of things on this Trisha's desk. Trisha's like the great recycler of all I am containers. The great recycler. <laughs> recycling so then we had another snack this is what happens when the snacks got good we have to pull out like eight other snacks to make up when the snacks not good we go back to the back of the cabinet and we try to find something and then i found something that made it a a popcorn theme which is not hard to do in our snack cabinet no there's like ton of chips and popcorns are and puffs seem to be chocolate relevant and chocolate also so yeah so shauna got this popcorn tell them about it shauna it is a dark (laughs) chocolate and milk chocolate Wait, what does it say? I can't is it read dark, it from uh, here. Milk and dark chocolate, sea salt caramel, which is like what we had last week too. Except popcorn. Caramel, except covered with popcorn in the middle. Yeah, so it's like those Jemmy Saunders caramels, but like popcorn. Also, if there was, it was a wrapped around popcorn. What if you did those it's caramels from Trader Joe's. and you like cut them into little fours and then threw them into a big bowl of salted popcorn? That would be like good, but it wouldn't while, be the same as this. You would this. get like a pop of This chocolate. is like a piece of popcorn surrounded by chocolate and caramel and yeah. like sea salt it's or sea really, salt caramel, whatever. It's really good. I didn't realize it was milk and You dark. say caramel and I say caramel. I, I just noticed that. I asked potato, you that like right now. on another podcast because I was like, is it caramel or caramel? I don't know why I say caramel. It sounds unsophisticated. I don't know. And I, I just realized that I say caramel, like but I didn't. gala it. and gala or... Yeah, I don't know. Gala and gala. I always say gala and yeah. people say gala and we would do it at work all the time and it'd be like gala. I'll be like, well, it's the gala. And then someone's like, yeah, this year's gala. And it was just like this weird, like passive aggressive fight to like <laughs> raise one like pronunciation to the top. I'm just kidding. But I mean, well, I mean, I'm not awesome. kidding, but it was something that like you say potato. Some, it's like when people say aunt yeah. instead of aunt. I say aunt. I say aunt too. Aunt. 
But like, it there's sounds so formal to me. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm from California. <laughs> I can't be fancy. Everything we say probably just sounds like this bah, bah, to everybody. Bah, bah. Like, oh my god, isn't from California or the United States? Maybe <laughs> people with like cute accents. People that live somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who lives anywhere else but us. Wait, what? I just kidding. Know. This is going in a weird place. <laughs> All right. That just made me feel like sleepy, like I was going to fall asleep right now. <laughs> I got really like cozy. First of all, I was like freezing. And, and then like, I, I put like. you into a I know. stupor. <laughs> I literally got like tired right now, Mom. Good you night. You had like a little I had, like, salt. Some coffee or you something. You had a little sugar and now you're like. I'm nice and cozy. I have a blanket. I have, I have a, a pillow. On the, there's a pillow on the bench. You can go lay down like a hobo <laughs> in the corner of our <laughs> podcast room and take a nap. <laughs> right. I oh, know. I got really sleepy. Nap on the bench. I never sleep enough. There's no sleep in my sleep. There's no sleep in my sleep either. I hate that. Nope. I'm waking up like several times a night. I said that the other day to somebody. I was like, me and my son both keep waking up at like one and two in the morning. And I'm all, and my son's not an age where that should be happening. No, he shouldn't. Because it sounded Do you like keep I had. meeting each other like in the hallway? No, or? it sounded like I had like a baby. Because I was like, oh, me and my son oh, keep waking. Does. Just when I said it out loud, I was like, except my son's 14. Crying. And both of us like You're can't all, sleep at it's night. It's not for a bottle. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully not. No. Maybe for me, but not for him. <laughs> not till he's older. Okay, yeah. but yeah, no, I was like, I realized when I said that, because like, not, I was, I don't know, somewhere at work, and I was like, well, not everyone knows, like, who my kids are, or how right, they are. Right, right. I, I would just assume like, you had a baby. Yeah, and I was all, but me. he's yeah. not the age where he wakes up in the middle of the night, so that's <laughs> where maybe he is. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Crazy. Okay, goodbye. I'm going to take a nap. I have my blanket. I'm ready. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story about how I got in trouble for doing that when I was little? The snorting? Sh- oh, that snoring? Sound? Pretend snoring? Pretend snoring. Like, okay, here's no. what happened. <laughs> I was in preschool and we used to have to like sleep, like take yeah. nap time in, on these little cots. Yeah, and I never slept. I, I never that. took a nap. Yeah. I don't know what my problem was. He's I wish I could go back. To lay on his stomach with his face in the pillow and not look at anybody. Um, so that he, is he like up like yeah. wreaking havoc? Yeah. yeah. I didn't wreak havoc, but I would lay down and I'd be like, oh, I'm so bored. And so then I I was thinking about a cartoon I had been watching. It's so funny right, that Bugs I remember Bunny this. Or something? I remember this so clearly. It was like, and I was sitting there, and I started doing something I'd seen in the cartoon. And I guess I, I maybe I did it on purpose. I don't know if I did it or just didn't realize it. But I was like, and so it was like you know a bear sleeping, going like, yeah. like that. Yeah. And I kept doing it, and it was like blowing its covers down and up, you know, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It's so funny that I remember it so like that vividly. is really random. So I got in trouble. It. They were like, Jordan. And I was always like just fucking around because I couldn't sleep. And I was like, this is boring. Like, they why are we doing read, this? They should have let you look at a book or something. I don't know. My, my, they should have um, let me do a podcast. I know. <laughs> they should have let you There were no podcast. podcasts in 1976 <laughs> or whatever, however old I was, right? Probably well, 77. Yeah. yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I just need some a creative outlet. <laughs> And you guys are not giving it to me. So I'm going to reenact this cartoon by myself. <laughs> in my mind, out loud. <laughs> I know. I was like, in my mind, they're like, go for Did you make your blanket go up and down too? No, I uh, wish I had though. That would be an even <laughs> better story. But I picked my son up early. Uh, it happened to be like right at the tail end of their nap time a couple of times, like for a doctor appointment or whatever. And they have like weird or low like music playing, like, like, like the music in the massage place, like you know, like <laughs> tubular <laughs> bells or something, like <laughs> pan flutes. They're all go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, and then they have uh, one of those um, like uh, essential oil mister things. Oh, wow. Have, like, lavender that going, is nice. which is, you know, I walk in and I'm just like. I would have fallen asleep, apparently, because I'm about to fall asleep just from just you listening. talking. I'm all, <laughs> I'm all lavender and it's all poop. Like. Sounds better than that, though. And uh, I was like, damn, like, I wish every day in the middle of my day, someone would be like, you must lay down for yeah, an hour right now. Go take a right nap. Now. Here's some pretty music here's and some nice lavender, smells. And um, we're going to, like, dim the lights. Here's a little cot. That would be great. Uh, yeah. There was a kid that They're used lovely. to, like, hide under the cots. And then, like, my dad would come and pick me up and he'd be like, hey, John. Or I don't remember the little he'd kid's just be name. under there. And he, like, put his hand out and, like, wave. It was weird. 
that sounds like a, a weird sitcom. I know scenario. it was funny, like, and I do remember my dad doing that and being like. And I also remember like everyone comes pick up their. I probably told this story before. What pick I'm, up I'm their just kids. feeling very repetitive. Be like, hi, princess. Hi, to sweetie. You? No, no, like oh. that's what people say to their kids when they pick them up. Right, my right. dad would walk in and be like, "Come on, motor mouth." That's nice. <laughs> Al, you got it. I talked a lot when I was little. You did shocking. You did mention that you're a motor mouse. I, I don't think you told that story though. That's adorable. Yeah. And uh, everyone's like, "Hey, no one sweetie. called me princess. My dad called me Trish the dish or Trish the fish." Oh, see, yeah, that's yeah. why we're the way we are. I know we're not princesses, so just <laughs> shut up. I used to whoever call, thought we were. I nobody, still do. Like I call, nobody ever. Like nobody ever thought we were. Princesses. Everybody's like, what? Oh my. Like, oh my god, the just the whole thing. <laughs> just the, like the, the way you fell look down and your crown and your and just dress nothing about and nothing you. about you at all Not actually. Swearing and drinking. Uh, I call my kids dude. Like I'll be like, "Hey dude, come I on, it's too. time to go, dude." And like when Lisey was little, she was like 3, you know, she's this cute little girl and she did go through a year of like tutus. Of course, everybody does stage. And uh I was I'd be like, "Come or on, dude." Not. You know, and this this dad one day at preschool was like, I'm so glad to hear you call your daughter dude. And I thought he was like making fun of me. Uh, I, I was like, you're like defensive. No, I wasn't. I just was like, uh huh. Like, I just was careful, you know. <laughs> so I don't want to, I don't want to like scare the other parents away. <laughs> That's such a funny thing to say. I was just careful because I didn't know what was going to happen. Because like, I don't know, I don't know. People are weird. Yeah. Parent, parents get offended by the weirdest shit. Yeah. I'm using my hands a lot. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> like, okay. like, in a not creative way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's just waving her hands around it's really weird uh, anyways so yeah so i was like kind of like careful where you're like what are you about to say to me right now like yeah. are you gonna offend me are you cool with it and he was like i call my daughter dude too my wife's always like she's not a dude and i'm like we live in california what can i say like i say dude all the time same thing to my <laughs> kids and now they've started saying bro like what's up bro is that like a thing? It's That's, like a, it's like how they talk now. You told so me they're, that. Their bro you did say is that instead of dude. Yeah. But like sometimes they say it to me when like they're mad or I don't know. It's weird. I don't bro. like it. <laughs> yeah. What's go- What's wrong, bro? And I'm like, like, no, you can't call me that. I don't like that. I like, yeah. dude, bro sounds like aggressive. Yeah, I don't know. Dude sounds like chill. Chill. Like bro is like, bro. Yeah. I don't know. Bros scare me a little bit. <laughs> Dudes don't scare me, though. Dudes are like, I mean, I shouldn't say scare me. They, it's probably more just like I'm annoyed than scared. Do you remember when Logan would call everybody buddy? Yeah. Because we used to call him buddy. and Hey, buddy. Yeah, and Edgar would call him buddy a lot. And so then, you know, he would turn to me and be like, you're my buddy. Aww. You know, i will be like, mom, buddy, come on. Like, it's That's... really cute. He doesn't do it so much anymore. We kind of got off buddy. Now he's going to start calling you bro. So no, watch out. Uh uh-uh. uh. Monkey. I call them both monkey. And my daughter wrote me a little That's like, like sweet though. what I love about you and mom book. And inside of it, she's uh-huh. like, it says, I love when you call me. And then you have to fill it in. And she put monkey. And I was like, I didn't even realize that she kind of noticed that. Right. We all call each other monkey all the time. It's like everybody's nickname. <laughs> Do I call you a monkey? No. Cheeky monkey. Cheeky monkey. We might have said cheeky monkey once or twice. To each other? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, like you're a cheeky oh, monkey. Yeah. Always. But not monkey like. Yeah. No. I don't know. It's always been a thing with me and Aaron too. That's sweet. Yeah. We call each other dick. <laughs> <laughs> Bag of dicks. <laughs> There's somebody. Hey, had- dick. <laughs> There's yeah, bag of dicks is a is we have a, a new chick, follower on Instagram. Chick on Instagram, and yeah. I was like, I, was I don't like, know if I want to click on this. And I'm then all, it was like out. this this woman, and I was like, she looks oh. like she'd be hanging out with us yeah. though. <laughs> but it, her her like handle or whatever is bag of dicks. If you're listening, bag of super dicks, super funny too on Instagram. Thanks for checking us out yeah. or liking our picture. You're funny. It's funny that yeah. that's what you call we like, yourself. We like the juxtaposition of your name and your and you. <laughs> how they don't like it wasn't what we thought yeah not at all <laughs> and it's like a picture good... of her and her cat i'm all oh, a good what? thing bag of dicks because it okay. would have like been scary to actually see a bag of dicks yeah i didn't want to see that i was like I afraid i'm all i don't ever no, want to see that ever don't, scary porn, keep your so. bag of dicks away from <laughs> keep me keep your <laughs> own bag <laughs> don't share it
Oh no, it's getting it's so bad. It's not my bag, We're baby. Start- yeah, that's, that's, this kind of thing is not my bag. <laughs> we were just talking about that the other we day, too. We were talking too. about Austin Powers yeah. a couple days ago. I don't know why we were talking about We Austin just Powers. went off about it, and we were like, we, it wasn't on the podcast. We were just no, like we were standing really, in the kitchen yeah. talking about it, and I was like... Do you remember when he had like the penis pup and he was like, that's not mine. And then, yeah, then there was like book. a book. Yeah. <laughs> it's all this kind of thing is my bag. This kind like. of thing is definitely my bag. <laughs> penis pump. Oh my God. The first Austin Powers was so good. And that's then what we were talking so about. It went downhill we were talking after about that. How fat bastard kind of ruined, ruined it. The yeah. character of fat bastard like ruined it for us later. Yeah. Um, a carpenter I worked with hilarious. who like did uh, special effects. Uh-huh. He actually designed, I tell you this, the boobs that shoot like when the robot. Oh, the fembots. The fembots come uh-huh. out. The the little boobs that shoot. He like designed. He those. designed those. Yeah, that's <laughs> famous. I know, super famous. Oh my god, you guys, this is so famous. Go watch the old Austin Powers. It's funny. Okay, okay. it's time for Right Club. Right Club. Ooh. Welcome to the Bench Right Club. The first rule of Right Club is you do not write about Right Club. The second rule of Right Club is you do not write about Right Club. Right Club. Right Club. Right Club, so exciting. We have so many Right Clubs. Thank you to everyone who submitted and anyone who didn't. You have a chance every month. And if we get a response this big, we might split them up a little bit or do something different. So Yeah, we might like... This is we don't even know what we'll do. I think we, we will talk less about stupid <laughs> stuff like my preschool stories and, and then read, just read more. Read your good writing. <laughs> so we're reading these cold, so uh, we will do our best. Um, but we like to do that because we like to be surprised. So the writing prompt for May was uh, don't believe what you hear. There is nothing dangerous in those woods. <laughs> okay. Right club rules. Sorry, right club. Respond to our prompt. Three minutes, no more than two hundred fifty words. If you're like a super fast typer or something, and everybody no to it. It looks like this yeah. time. So, so I'm gonna start. Yeah, and I have one from Lisa on, and we're so excited because we don't know these people. Yep. Not that we aren't in love with the people that we love. Our bench are super like. And, Oil. and uh, guys, all you who submitted for this time around, go, if you're on Facebook, join our bench lanes group. Yeah, come on down. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> come and on down. For the future, if you want us to shout out a book you're working on or you have or like your Twitter, your Twitter, or your Instagram, just include that in your email because we are happy to help get you noticed or promoted or whatever because... We all need all the help we can get, right? right? We're all about sharing the yeah. love. So share our love and we'll share yours. So this Wait, is Lisa's what? and she starts out with the prompt. Don't believe what you hear. There's nothing dangerous in those woods. That snicker snack is not a wolf's claw in the underbrush. The whoop whoop has nothing at all to do with chimps who have ca- the canine teeth of beasts. No, sir. The woods are empty. The woods are safe. Of course, you might find women waiting underneath the canopy, women dressed or undressed, shall we say, in skimpy night clothes. It's always night in there. But the women pose no threat. They've simply lost their way, strayed a bit, not much enough to leave the path and gather flowers. Certainly you'd fear them less than wolves or sharpened canines. The women speak with lovely voices, if they speak at all. Some of them have wounds. Don't worry, they won't bite. Wow. I know. <clears throat> the beginning was almost like a children's book or like a, you know, like how Dr. Seuss like the makes snicker up snack. Yeah. The whoop whoop. Love it. What the fuck's going on with these I don't ladies? know, but I'm, I could so picture that. Shit, Lisa. <clears throat> yeah, this Tell is us really more good. Or not. And this, you this know, is a great start to something different next time. Some kind know. of story, though. I like it. Yes. Welcome to the Bench Right Club. <laughs> Okay, next one is from at stories2121. And that's what the name is. Okay. And the first paragraph is just about um, some typos. And uh, you don't have to read yeah, that part. I'm not going to read that part. Okay. I was sad to see her leave. And she looked sad in her one glance back to me as she did. I turned and my father approached me. 
Don't believe what you hear, he assured me. There's nothing dangerous in those woods. And I glanced back as she entered them. Then I started to walk with my father. Four steps. Five. Six. I stopped. He kept going as I turned and raced, quickly catching up to her. I grabbed her. I don't care. No matter what dangers are out there, I need to be with you. I will not sit and wonder. I will be with you. She smiled and said, I believe you. And that's it. Oh, sorry. You're going to say something else. I you know like what? Hanging. I literally was going to fall to my sorry. chair. Sorry. Yeah. That was awesome. So he fixed one. He fixed the typos and, and pasted it without the typos on the bottom. But I kind of fixed them as I read them. So she smiled and said, I believe you. That's the end. Wow. I'm sorry. I like screwed that up at the end. No, huh? you're fine. No, I just, I thought there was more because you looked like you were going to say something else. I was. Nobody else I knew thought there that, was another I paragraph. Yeah. No, it's okay. Very good. Stories 212. Yep. <laughs> no, I like it. Like no, I'm just like looking at it. Like, I like. I feel like I have to look like, at it. It's hard for me to like. Like it, ironically enough, because this is a podcast, it's hard for me if I can't look listen. at something. No, I know. No, no, no. But I like that it feels like it's you're you're stepping into the middle of a story, in in a way. Like yeah, it doesn't yeah. have a beginning, middle, and it's more like just the a moment where he changes his mind and chases back after her. I, this is the part I love. Is sorry, I had to look at it. I'm, yeah. I'm not, I, I'm i like a visual no, reader no, no, I or am whatever. Too. A visual, visual reader. reader. <laughs> I guess most people are, except uh. for real. Um, no, it was the four steps, five, six, I stopped. Like, I love stuff like that mm-hmm. when it's like that sort of staccato. Like, I really like that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Good job. Sorry we were all like disjointed about it for a second all there. All all right. I'll fix it in post. This is for Nadine Kimmage. I'm sorry, this is from... <laughs> This is something I composed for Nadine Kimmage. Actually, this is Nadine Kimmage's submission. Don't believe what you hear. There's nothing dangerous in those woods. Those words echo in my ear as I stroll through the woods, dead leaves crunching beneath my feet, magic weaving in and out of the trees being carried by the breeze. I feel alive here, like part of my soul belongs here. This is where I will spend an eternity, being a part of the magic in these woods. Trees bend, sending shards of light in the woodland floor, and there is a sweet humming sound. Sat by the stream, this feels like a dream, though all my dreams are good ones. Oh, hmm. that's beautiful. Who's that from again? Nadine Kimmage. Thank you, Nadine. I may be saying the last name wrong, but that was awesome. That's I feel like that's how I felt like when I was young. Yeah. Like when I was a college student, I was just yeah. like wandering around. One with the little ants yeah, no, crawl on your arms. It's, and... It feels very like... Uh, ethereal. Ethereal? Ethereal. ethereal. <laughs> yeah. It feels kind of magical. I yeah. like it. It's like a very nice feeling. Not just a scary. warm, fuzzy feeling. Okay. This one... Hang on. Slight. Thank you for submitting, Nadine. We don't know you. And that's cool. Because you're new. Remember? I'm wearing Trisha's bathrobe right now as a side note because it was freezing. And she has this like warm, fuzzy bathrobe that I walked by and touched <laughs> because it was hanging by her coat. And I, I know, thought it was a blanket. And I was like, this I is I tossed soft. it up there this morning. And I was like, I'm freezing. I just want to make sure and I got was all like, this one. She I was did. like, you can wear my bathrobe. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> Over my clothes, everybody. Don't get dirty about it. Sometimes Shauna just takes off her clothes and wears my bathrobe in the podcast. <laughs> it's not Stop weird. Stop it. It's fine. <laughs> it's normal to us. Okay. This is from Rita Davey. Don't believe what you hear, she said. There's nothing dangerous in those woods, she said. Jason muttered under his breath as he moved thick branches and vines out of his way. The forest floor was dark, and he imagined all manner of creepy crawly creatures slithering over his bare feet. Above, the canopy of foliage blocked out light at a more and more rapid pace, which meant the sun was setting. Jason gritted his teeth and walked faster. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, like, short and sweet. I feel like that's like about the length ours usually turn out to be. Yeah, like, when yeah. you really I'm stick like, to the I'm scared. three minutes, but you just get that sense, and you, yeah. you climbed right into the middle of it. I love Strong. it. Strong. These are all great. Yeah, this all is super these fun, you guys. That we don't know that we love now. Love you. We only love you now. You have to keep submitting. I'm, just 
I'm the mean one. You if you're are. new to the show, I'm the mean one. <laughs> I'm we, the asshole one. We call that one. hashtag asshole BFF. Well, so here's what happens. Trisha will text me and be like, oh my God, this is so great. And I'll be like, is it? Or like, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I'm not even trying to be funny, you guys. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like jaded Shauna. It's yeah. going to be like a new segment. It was it's like Debbie be, Downer. I might be Debbie Downer, which we talked about, I think, last week too. But yeah, you're jaded. Yeah, I'm just like jaded. The haterade thing. I just like, immediately I'm like not, it's not sure real. about anything. Yeah, like, do not trust, but it. with a negative tint, <laughs> with a negative spin. If there was like <laughs> salt and spice, no wait, sugar and spice and everything nice. No salt and snails and puppy dog tails. I don't no. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby. Don't say maybe. <laughs> I don't. All, I don't know what that is. Okay, sorry everybody. Back to the show okay this is from jack a ori um because he signed his full name so i'm just gonna read the whole thing yeah don't believe what you hear there's nothing dangerous in those woods johnny grinned at me his eyes sparkling in that special way that only his sparkled in my heart was doing flip-flops but what about the monsters we're too old to believe in monsters not real monsters, I said, stumbling over my words and aware that he thought I was as stupid as I sounded. But there's, you know, bad guys, people who lure children into secluded areas, that sort of thing. We're not children. We're teenagers. It was true. I turned 13 last week and Johnny was a full year older than me. OK, I said against my better judgment. But if we get kidnapped, stop being overdramatic. Come on, I'll race you. Johnny started running. I took my time. It was better to let him win anyway. When I walked into the woods, I didn't see him anywhere. Johnny, I called. He didn't answer. Johnny, I said, that's not funny. I heard rustling in the bushes, and then someone jumped on top of me. I pulled away and ran out of the woods. Johnny's laughter echoed in my ears. I ran all the way home, trying to convince myself I didn't love him anymore. Oh, that was so good. Oh. Wow, you really took me somewhere, Jack. Like, yeah, that was amazing. I was like right there. Yeah, I was like, oh no, you just turned. Oh my god, didn't didn't we all have a have a guy like that or a girl like that who just taunted was you so shitty? Yeah, was so <laughs> shitty, made you feel so stupid. Shitty Johnny. God damn it, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this one Thank is you, Jack. from one of our benchlings, uh, Brett, Brett Jordan. And it's called, because he always titles it, The okay. Fourth Child. Oh. Don't believe what you hear. There's nothing dangerous in those woods, she said, turning off the light and closing the door. Bullshit, I said to myself. I didn't have to believe what I heard about the woods. I'd seen it. The woods knew I'd seen it. I laid in my bed, staring out the window. All I could see were the woods. The thick, dark woods. And as I stared at them, I could feel them staring back at me trying to lure me back to them. Should they break the window and grab me with their branches or take my ball and pull it deeply inward so I would follow? Maybe they will call to me through whispers of rustling leaves or would they stand silent and taunt me with visions of what I'd seen? What had I seen? She was there and then she was gone, leaving only a rustle of leaves, a spray of blood, and the sound of feasting high above me. What? I didn't know who she was or how she got there. Was she real? Was this all in my head? No. I looked deeper towards the woods as the woods looked back at me, darker and more silently as the television sizzled on downstairs. Local girl has gone missing, last seen near <gasps> Bradbury Park at the entrance to King Woods Park, third child to go missing in three months, and soon I would be the fourth. <gasps> Good. <sighs> Scary. I like the sizzling TV. Yeah. That was like Yeah, the television sizzle that on. That was a good yeah. tasty little description there. I like that. <laughs> and I love the I've never heard a TV described that way. That he's like con that. conversing with the woods. Like they looked back at me. That's like me. that's exactly what I thought of. Yeah. Actually, I mean not not that exactly. story. Yeah. I'm all I actually wrote that exactly Sorry, the same thing. It first. And so I don't <laughs> I can't believe that we did the same thing. No, I was, I was just thinking scary. I yeah. just read, I think I talked about this before, but I read this like YA book mm -hmm. that my kids didn't want to read. It was called Took and it was about like 
the woods and like something scary happening in oh, the woods. Yeah. It just reminded me of that because that was like very uh and everyone it was like these like kids from like a I don't know, like a like a more established town, like mm-hmm. moved, like this little tiny town that's like very like folksy sort right. of and everybody more says rural. they keep talking about yeah, rural, there we go. I'm all folksy. I don't know. I couldn't <laughs> think of the right word because the way people talk, they would say she was took. Oh. Like instead of she was taken oh, or gotcha. like kidnapped, they would say that girl was took. Ah. And so like it was kind of and they like make note of that like a right. lot in the story. But anyway, that was great, Brett. Wow. That was nice. really good. It's scary. I enjoyed Should it. I read one of the half page? So there's two on that one. So we pick have to one. share a page, so whatever. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is Kayla's. Hello, Kayla. All right. There it is again. Did you hear it? I don't know what time it is. It's late, way past sundown, and very, very dark. My cell phone battery died, and I was stupid enough not to wear a watch. I could turn on my lantern, but I don't want to attract any attention. Not when I keep hearing the sounds of footsteps in the grass and dry twigs breaking here and there. They said there was nothing dangerous in these woods, and I believed them, despite the stories my brother used to tell me. He said there were some wild creatures that lived out here, not a Bigfoot, but something almost as bad. But brothers tease. I learned that a long time ago when he told me that pregnant women eat pickles and ice cream because it makes children live longer. (laughs) And then he pointed out that I was a child, so I should eat it too. Blech. I can still taste it. But I'd rather eat a whole bowl of it. I'd rather eat a whole bowl of it now than be out here alone. And the footsteps are getting closer. (gasps) That's funny. I You're like so the black woods. I know. Kayla, I always love your like vocal things that you write. Does it spell like, out like yeah, yeah. Black. again. Yes, love it. Thank you, Kayla. That was good. And Kayla, thanks for encouraging all these newbies to join us. This is what? awesome. All right, you get a gold star. <laughs> oh, big brothers. Anyways, all right. <laughs> what was uh, that? I don't know. I was just thinking, like, it's kind of like It's a, funny because you don't have a I big don't have brother. a big brother. But you said it like you did. Like I did, yeah. No, I have no big brother. Like- but I can imagine. It's like the, the uh, you know, fucker Jonathan or whatever his name was. Like, the bully, the... Jack. You know, yeah, Jack. Johnny. Yeah, it's just like, ugh. Johnny. There's always a guy That like guy, that. that kid, that brother or whatever. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Leilani. Sorry if I ruin your last name Lilani Grasifa sorry if I ruined your first name too um okay so Lilani Grasifa thank you and I'm gonna read hers ever since a dingy cloud developed over my head I'm sure she swore to herself she'd stay away from me for as long as she's alive and even when she inherits her mother's throne Princess Maxine, once and to this day the beauteous love of my life and perchance my future princess but she scorns me because of what I've done to her and many other heirs as children. Perchance, I am the immortal Prince Zane of Emberborn, and she will be mine. There it is, the impotent cloud that I refuse to be fond of, the part of me that draws everybody away. I am different from the rest now. I was once courteous and timid until I was wittingly cursed by a voodoo conjurer. Whoa. That was like we stepped right into like a big world there. Yeah. Like what's going on? Impotent cloud. That's good. No, Im- impudent. Oh. Did I say it wrong? <laughs> I was all impotent. I'm all, that's such an interesting. I said it wrong. Oh, impudent. Impudent. Like I don't stubborn? Know what, but, oh, is that what it means? I'm yeah. like, I don't even know what that word means. Like. like I like impotent <laughs> cloud. <laughs> Well, that's so interesting. Impudent what cloud does that, that I refuse to be a, a fond of. Oh, yeah. The part of me that draws everybody away. Like the big negatives. Yeah. Cloud over his head. Yeah. I was once courteous and timid until I was wittingly cursed by a voodoo conjurer. There's like so much more of this story I would There's like, like to hear. There's like a lot of things there. <laughs> like who's the voodoo conjurer? Also, like, could, I need to know. This could be like the new Game of Thrones now that that's over. Like just let's just start just in this world. do it. Yeah. Come on, Lilani. You're on it. And you've got it so apparently cool. like already started yeah no thank you so much for submitting this one i like this too because she it's didn't so even, different she, yeah she didn't even uh mention the prompt she just like went right into it 
but you get it. Love it. Thank you guys. This was great. This what a super fun. What a cool response to this. There's so many different ones, of course, like always. But I always say that, but it's so true. Stop saying the same thing mm. over and over again. I know, but it's still the true. Like there's the one about like the women. Like what was that all about? Yeah. Like, no, it, and then like a beautiful sort line. of like nature one that's like, poetic. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh the woods. Like that's sort of how I would think yeah. about the woods too. Missing I think. children in in Bratz or even Kayla's. Her her hers was a character was about to be missing. It seemed like too the footsteps behind her yeah, or whatever. I'm like that's scary. Yeah, stop it. Listening to too many I'm just, like I mean. Atlanta not, monster. Not that I don't the world. like it, but I have yes, I have I by like far it. listened to too many tr- true crime podcasts and stories to like. Oh my gosh! Yesterday I watched this movie called Split. Oh, I I saw that. <laughs> it was good. Well, did you do you know it's part of like yes, the, yeah. So we watched the trilogy. Split. It's M Night Shyamalan. Yes. Sorry, we always call him Shyamalan Ding Dong because we really like we love just him. Be like rude also. and like make jokes about. I don't you know. know it's horrible. I don't care. We're, my name is weird. You guys were bad people. Shana na. <laughs> I'm sorry. If your name has any musical quality, it's going down. We're singing with it. Us. So he like. <laughs> Wrote this, yeah. I mean, and so here's the thing about M. Night Shyamalan, just, like, to make a note. Like, I like all his movies for the most part. And people, like, have this, like, love-hate thing with him where, like, after, like, The Sixth Sense, everybody, like, hated everything he did, which I thought was so stupid. Or, like, like The Village, which is a super good movie. I love that movie. Yeah, so it's, like, people wanted more of, or, like, The Lady in the Water. I love that movie. People wanted more of a splash. Like the Sixth Sense was like a big pretty twist. splashy. They were like, Where's and it the was big like twist? really scary, like poltergeisty, poltergeisty, where like yeah. things are happening all the time. It's scary. Whereas somebody the under village the, is like, like more yeah. of a patient movie. You know what I mean? Lady in the Water is more of a. The village is almost like, like a weird Twilight Zone episode, but like super long. But, but yeah, you have to be patient for yeah. the for the you know the, the payoff. The, the payoff, <laughs> and then like the Lady in the Water is like. You have to release what you know about it's like mystical the world and like believe in the story. So you know, I liked the first one. What's um, Unbreakable? Unbreakable. Yeah, I so love that what movie. Happens. So my sister in law, I love her because she'll like come out and she'll, she'll like, like buy the whole settle. Thing. Well, she'll settle in and watch like two movies with you, and oh, we'll be like so cozy. Here's the new one, like uh, Glass. I haven't Wait, seen that one, Mister Glass? Glass. I think it's just called Glass, oh. but the guy's Mister. I haven't Glass. seen that one yet. So. so. We're like, but first we have to watch Split because yeah. we were like, we haven't seen that one, but we'd seen Unbreakable. Yeah. Everybody saw that like a million years ago. And so we watched Split and that was good, but he kidnaps girls. I know. Spoiler alert. It's yeah. not really that surprising. Probably not a spoiler because it's been out for like a year or something. Yeah. So or more. all it does is make me think about like girls getting abducted. And I know. Honestly, I told you, I just watched The Girl in the Bunker. Like it's a girl getting girls abducted. Could have done. No, like I know. he just they were like in a shopping center he like approached the dad and like we don't know what he did to the dad and then just got in the car and like drugged them with like yeah. the spray or something i love it when what are you gonna do the you one can't girl do anything about that is getting grabbed by the personality because of course it's like dealing with multiple personalities it that that seems like he's maybe gonna like hurt her or assault her and the other girl's like pee on yourself pee like right now oh, yeah. urinate but or he whatever just wants to dance with her yeah but she does it and it like does gross him out because he's a clean freak and the other girl yeah, he's the other OCD. girl like knows like what's going on because she's I think been abused yeah already but yeah which somebody's I think because I just watched this movie last night somebody's story reminded me of that because of I just saw this movie where she's flashing back to like yeah. when she was a kid and she's in the woods with her uncle yes. so what's scary about that is her uncle is oh. like abusive oh but- it's interesting is that like people are scarier than the actual scary woods yeah not the <laughs> monsters it's yeah. like the person the real monsters around. like you said like people grab you know the ones that abduct children or oh, those are the scary ones let me just tell you we settled in and watched that and then we watched the new one and the new one was like it was so complicated it, it got like no tomatoes on rotten tomatoes. really and it was like i see what he's trying to do like, Isn't it like the three of them? He's are such in a like writer. I love the, him. I don't Night think Shyamalan, he ever meant for Malaman. Unbreakable to like move into another thing. I think because superhero movies are a thing, he was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the character from Split, 
That had nothing to do with Unbreakable. Well, but that the character movie's from not that Unbreakable. Old, though. That Split movie? It's not. No, and at the end of Split, though, it goes into the third one, though. It's not oh, like he I did it isolated. That. He, um, oh. uh, Bruce Willis is there. And they're like, that's weird. That some they're like in a like a coffee shop. You're right. And they're watching it on the news. Yeah. And they start calling him the horde because yes. he's got all the personalities. Yes. And then they're like, Oh, that reminds me of something weird that happened a few years ago about that guy. What was his name? And then Bruce Willis is like, Mr. Glass. Yeah. And he's like there and you're like, Oh and then you're like right. coming soon. A new movie. Right. So maybe when he wrote Split, he had the intention of combining them into the third. But it just seemed like very timely that he would do that in a, in a like time create, where superhero movies are like He's so trying to popular. create a new thing, which I really respect because that's hard to do. Yeah. Because you're basing all these things off comic books. And this whole thing was like, you're not really comic book heroes. Like, but yeah. are you? But like, I don't right. know. And like all this stuff happens and like, I don't want to blow it because it's kind of a new movie. But yeah, there were just some things that needed to be tightened up. Like I kind of was like, do I have to watch this again? Because I kind of feel like I don't understand part of it. But also like I was maybe like doing other stuff while I was watching. Yeah. It, like trying to Uber my son or... home. And so I was yeah, just like. Yeah, you texted me and you're like, you need, your Uber's on the way. And I was like at the theater. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting an Uber right now. I wonder where <laughs> I'm going. You're all, I'm getting picked up by Shauna. <laughs> Thanks, Shauna. Bye. I'm all, where are you taking me? Shauna, this is a fun. magical mystery. I'm well, it my birthday. <laughs> yeah, it was not. Um, so anyway, yeah. Anyways. I was a little distracted by that, so maybe I missed something. But it's good. I like I like his I just stuff. like the characters and I like the actors and I like that he shows up in his movies too. Yeah. He'll I just be too. in it for like a cameo. Yeah. And I'm like, there he is. Anyway, nice Shyamalan. I fucking loved Wayward Pines. Yes. And that fucking ended. Why? So Why? It mad. ended on like a, such a oh, cliffhanger. I too. love that. You guys, it's worth watching even if it if it doesn't tie up. Maybe maybe it'll come back or get crowdsourced for like one of the streaming I don't know, but I really situations. wanted it to keep going. And I it's love so all the actors that were in it. It was and my like, favorite shit. show at that time. I was just like, that's the only thing I want to watch is God like more of that. It like kind of replaced the X-Files and Supernatural. Yeah, like, it kind of like it fills just kind in of that fills blank. a big gap <laughs> in my heart for that kind of story. <laughs> I don't know if he wrote it or he produced it, but either way, he was involved in it. I think it was he wrote obvious it. because, or at like, least he it had his like it. fingerprint on it. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. So, M Night Shyamalan, if you would like to collaborate with us, yeah, in we're any ready. Way, I will stop calling you M Night Shyamalan, but it's really hard because we your also name have is very musical. Eight writers who just submitted, so we know you're listening. And, um, you know, hit any of them up. I bet you they would be glad to. Trish is going to put all the Twitter handles or whatever in the show notes. Yeah. So I always M. do, M. Night guys. Shyamalan, if any of these things appeal to you. I'll tag M. Night Shyamalan. Or any of our ideas that we've put out there. I mean, maybe you want to branch out and, like, produce Three Men and a Grandbaby. Or like, Steve the Devil Roommate. I mean, Steve the Devil Roommate would be great for him, but it's a comedy. But see, Remember that would that be good. Remember that devil movie with the elevator? He did that one, too. Did you see that one? What was it? Oh, it's yeah. called the devil in the elevator. I'm just kidding. It's not I can't remember. That at all. I know. I can't remember what it's called, but there there's an elevator and like Is it demon. a show or is it no, a, it's a it movie. movie? I don't think I saw it. Somebody's yelling right now. I know. <laughs> it's got to happen like once a show um where you scream at your whatever you're listening on and yeah, you can I'm tell starting us to later. feel really casual with this bathrobe on. Right you look, now. you look like you're at a summer party. You have I'm a blanket kind of on your lap. Get warm, Either you're at a summer party or you're an old lady. <laughs> or I'm like just some weirdo that's like walking around in a bathrobe. I'm like the dude right now. Yeah, yes. you just see some Kahlua here. Yeah. Yeah. I need uh, like a white Russian. A white Russian, yeah. Is that Kahlua milk or something? I think it's Kahlua and milk. Yeah, it's disgusting. Someone I else is. I would also have to have like their... almond milk. Well, that would be boring. <laughs> Great. We tried almond um, oh, Bailey's. It was Bailey's, terrible. and it was like we tried to like it. We were like, oh, it's different, but actually, we both really didn't like it. And we were just like, forget it, fuck this. It just it's tasted not good. weird. All um, those drinks that you mix with coffee are just like not yeah. good. They're like not it's good. like I feel like it's like a sorry liquor companies yeah. that make tons of money off it. So why am I sorry? <laughs> People are buying Baileys by the handful you know, during the holidays. It's like those are like liqueurs, right? Like it's hard because liqueurs are just so sweet. saturated and sweet. And then you add them to coffee and like it the taste goes together. Because we tried but... to do Kahlua, remember? And we were like, Ugh, it's too sweet. I'm like dying right My now. My mom used to make Kahlua. Can I tell you that? I feel Her like we my talked aunt, about it before. I think we did on the show too. Sorry. Gosh darn We're it. very repetitive. Gosh darn it. Um, 
All right, bye. So, no, before we go, thank you first to everyone who submitted. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry if we messed any of them up because we were confused and or I don't think we messed them up. Starting to drink wine. I don't know. I mean, we did our best. And uh, what's most important is that you all wrote something. And hopefully that kind of triggered your or sparked you or helped you with other projects you're working on. Like you all should take these and like run with them. I mean, they're all good. Like I would, I would read any of these like either a short story or like a book or anything you've written or a new Game of Thrones. Yeah, whatever. If anything you've written for us, anyone listening has gone further for you yeah, in your writing us. let us know um two girls on a bench at gmail.com and like i said if you have a book or something you want us to promote or tag us on twitter like we'll help you out we love to like we want to promote other writers in the writing community yeah. so we want this to be help like really supportive. us help you yes <laughs> and then also if you listen to us you know on whatever you listen to us on there is a new app called podcoin and if you listen there you get these virtual coins and i know i've mentioned this before but i have to keep mentioning it and uh (laughs) so that we can still like be on it but or whatever so we're a bonus Mm -hmm. podcast still uh, which means you earn 50 percent more coins than you would on another podcast by listening and like i said last week there's a ton of great shows on there yeah you can donate your coins to charity all your favorite shows earn an amazon gift card whatever so it's do your thing called Podcoin. it's free to download uh, it's cool because there are like top givers to people who like have given their points to charity oh. top listeners oh i didn't know that I yeah there's like these part. leaderboards okay I'll and then there's that. like a top podcast leaderboard and then we're number nine today what mm, so i don't know what's thank you going guys. on i know thank Keep you doing it everyone who's been listening tell to us everybody you know yeah well tell us too like send us a note or yeah you are know. you listening on podcoin we're yeah. so curious like what it's we're all about we're trying to figure it out um we love that there's like like our our listening stats are higher because it, it's very validating and fun but yes. at the same time like yeah give us some feedback and uh Reviews for some reason on iTunes is where everybody asks for reviews, but you can always just like hit us up anywhere, <laughs> you know, shoot me a DM or whatever. Feel free to review us on any platform. Any platform is or fine. Or just like write a haiku, just email it to do me. It. Like just I random don't know. haikus all I over. I might get a tattoo of it. I'm still trying to figure out what to get. I'm Shana's never gonna tattoo I'm a haiku never gonna on her do wrist. It. I'm like, we are going to do I'm it. I'm like. Freaking like this summer we're like in when Harry met Sally when we're it's doing like it. he's never gonna leave her yeah. like I'm never gonna no, get we're a gonna tattoo do it. I'm just gonna keep talking about if it. If you're a tattoo artist, also <laughs> in California, <laughs> give us a call. Um. Anyway, so shout out for Southern Podcoin. California. Um. Download the app, SoCal. Yes. We're not driving up north to no. get a tattoo. <laughs> no. Too. We're too lazy for that, guys. Um. And. Yeah, so you can find us everywhere else you listen. You know, uh, there's so many different platforms. We're pretty much and on all keep, of them. Keep sharing about Right Club because, like, this is exactly yeah. what we wanted was to get like people involved and different get people, people each and time. getting people writing. Yeah, like, most importantly because it's inspiring and it makes us want to write more. I know it I does. Get, you get the itch because you're like, oh, these are so good and fun. I want to go sit I down know. and. There's nothing like reading good writing to inspire right? you, actually, which is so awesome. Yes. But like, it's so true and thank you guys so much for participating yeah, and just being we love with it. us being with us being with us so yeah so for now um oh no what? we said thank you last week i was gonna say for the live stream for the cure that we that we worked on they have um we oh, tweeted, the tweeted out now. the totals so we made eighty five hundred dollars um, the whole thing, not just the us. The t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, not just us. Well, it was just and us. And we're so amazing. It was the puppets. And um, I guess the Cancer uh, Research Institute is doubling the amount. So Yay, it'll be like $17,000 or something. I tweeted out the actual amount and Epic Film guys have been tweeting it out. But it's That's so great. Incredible. Congratulations, Epic Film yes. guys. You're Congratulations, Nick and Justin and Dion. You guys did so much work and it was worth it. It's a lot of work. And the episodes will be like re-airing and probably on YouTube or Twitch or whatever 
Discord. I don't know. Um, so you can like check them out probably on Epic Film. Of, just, like, weird. I know, just, like, but if you I'm know all, one, you like, know it. You know, like I didn't know about those before. Like, but, like, ceiling fan. Like I'm just making <laughs> things up right now. Like you I'm know like, what I mean. It's like I saw Audacity, one Twitch ceiling fan stage fright, and I'm like oh. stage fright. What's that? I tried to look it up, and I I kept getting all these weird searches I'm like, for margarita actual margarita popcorn. It was like kidding. actual stage fright, and I'm like, no, I don't want to know what stage fright is. I want to know what the Oh, listening app. pod catcher app i would is, call or... mine margarita popcorn margarita I'm popcorn kidding, it's probably trademarked as an app <laughs> we call it popcast uh somebody already did that i think tm no pop pop-up film cast pop-up film cast that's a good show okay we're rambling we're going to say goodbye we are just going to keep talking so keep writing and keep snacking goodbye bye This was a podcast of the Podfix Network. You can check out more shows like it at podfixnetwork.com.